Hey, this is Max. Let me show you how to build a mobile app that talks to Twitter's um, search API. So we got a new project here and we got an empty phone frame. Here we got jQuery mobile components and um, HTML5 components. So to start, we're going to build the UI. We're going to take an input component and drag and drop it. And we're going to head to properties and make the input to be a placeholder or a prompt. We're going to get a button component and change the label to search and we're going to change the header to app now because we're starting with html5 mobile app we can instantly test the app in the browser by clicking this test button right and you should see um, the actual app uh, in the browser now if you would like to test without this phone frame you can go back test and you can then check this option and if you would like to share the app or open it on your phone um, make sure to make it public so let's continue building the ui um, we're gonna go um, scroll down a little bit and gonna get a grid component and um, has two columns by default very useful for layout in the first one we're going to put an image component and that's going to be the twitter uh, image and um, we're just going to resize it to 48 by 48 as that's the size that twitter um, sends us back into the second column, we're going to put two labels. The first label is going to be the Twitter username and then the Twitter the actual tweet text. And um, we also got a lot of different themes and uh, this is just a short list. So for example, selecting gold and we can test again. And this is how it should look. So you can create multiple screens. Of course, you can navigate between the screens. You can uh, run custom JavaScript as well. Um, but next step for us would be to connect to a REST service or Twitter search API. So let's go back. We're going to go to project and we're going to create uh, create new service. And so we've got REST service and this is fine for the name. Click OK. And we're going to enter the Twitter's um, search API URL. Search. Right, uh, and of course we're using Twitter, but as you can imagine, it can this can be any REST API out there, any cloud API. Uh, once we're done with the URL, we need to provide request parameters. In Twitter's case, uh, we just need to provide Q, which stands for query. That's the only one required. It has optional parameters, but we're not going to worry about it. And what's really nice is that we can test the service just to make sure it works right here. Clicking test connection and entering any value or HTML5, for example, clicking test. And this is the uh, reply or JSON that we get back from Twitter. Now, the next step would be to create the service's output or response, but we can actually do it right from here. Automatically, based on this response, clicking this button will automatically create uh, the response structure. So this is much, much easier and faster than, of course, doing it by hand. So let's save and let's go back to uh, the design. Um, once we define the service, we would like to add the service to the page. So we take the service, drag and drop it. And so this indicates the service is on the page. Next, we want to bind the service to the UI. For that, we go to data mapping. And this is the service input. And on this side, we got the page. So let's just expand a little bit. We can take the input component and we're going to map it to services input. And you can also write custom JavaScript if you need to. That's it for um, request mapping. Let's go to response mapping. And so results, uh, this is the collection of all the tweets. And I'm going to map it to the grid. And why to the grid? Um, because it's gonna give me a looping feature. Because I'm gonna be displaying multiple tweets. Uh, from user, this is the Twitter username. So let's map it to the first label in the second column, text. This is the actual tweet text, so I'm going to map it to the second label. And finally, the picture, which is profile image URL, we're going to map it to the picture. All right, and again, you can write custom JavaScript. You can also save data into local storage. Again, um, we're uh, always starting with HTML5 mobile app. Uh, we're almost done. Let's go back to design. And um, now we need to invoke the service. So we select the button and go to events go to click select invoke service and select the service click ok we're ready to test clicking test 
entering HTML5 and uh, we got the result. Now if you want to view the app without the frame or as it would look on actual device then we can go back test and then check this option click launch in browser and this is how the app is going to look on your phone of course much smaller and so here we go now if you want to export the app um, then you go to export option and you get all, all the options here. You can export as HTML5 mobile app. You can also export for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone. And uh, we use PhoneGap for that. So you can head to tigzy.com, sign up, and try building this app. Thank you.